So are you celebrating Mother's Day today? And I say are you and I say it tentatively because for some people it is a very lovely day and it has all the very nice sentiments and some people, um, a lot of people will be uh, very happy to be able to celebrate their mum and lots of mums will be very happy to be celebrated by their children and with their children for that matter. Uh, We are going to be looking at the, the flip of the coin about half past eight this morning, going to be looking at some well, maybe what it's like for people who find Mothering Sunday a little trickier. But for now, looking at congregations across Somerset who are celebrating mums today for Mothering Sunday. Churches in Pease Down St John, uh, Shoshcombe Wellow, giving out flowers to all the mums who are there this morning. Also expected to be special prayers said for those mothers in Ukraine who are separated from their families because of the war. Reverend Catherine O'Hearn represents all three parishes and is conducting a service this morning. Uh, Morning, Catherine. How are you? Good morning, Vicky. It's lovely to be with you this morning. Well, it's lovely to have you with us as well. And how are you going? What are you going to be doing today to to make, well, an extra special set of services for, for Mother's Day, for Mothering Sunday, I should say, probably? Indeed, yes. Well, as you've already mentioned, we will be giving out flowers um, to all the women who come to our church services this morning. Um, the mothers amongst us but also women like myself who haven't been blessed with the gift of motherhood because we want to give thanks and celebrate um, all of the inspiring women in our communities that demonstrate those qualities, those maternal qualities of nurture, protection, self-giving and love. And we can all do that, can't we? Mm. And of course, you know, the last two years, not been able to do it in person so how lovely is it to be back and actually have a physical congregation and be able to do this in person this year oh of course yes there's there's nothing like being together to be able to to join together in 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 fellowship and and particularly on a special occasion like today and you know we're able to share um stories from the bible about the amazing women who showed such courage and strength and faith um, in not only raising their own children, but but helping to raise um, other families as well. Uh, you know, you said about some uh, thinking of other families of you know mothers in Ukraine as well, separated from their husbands and in many cases children as well, and and special prayers for them. Oh yes, of course. I mean, we we're continuing to pray for peace every day, as I know everybody across the world is. But I think today particularly, you know, we can be inspired by just the amazing things that these women in Ukraine are doing, you know, in their fight to to their struggle to protect their families. And for me personally, I think to hold in our hearts today those mothers who in just the space of a few weeks have lost their children and likewise those children who have lost their mothers. And for whom, as you said earlier, you know, today is going to be a really, really difficult day. And we need to hold them in our hearts and encourage and support them in their fight for survival. Because as we know, that's literally what it is right now. Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, You represent three different villages. So, you know, lots of services and, you know, uh, happening in in different places. So people can be uh, going to one that is local to them. How can they find out more and times and things like that? So we have um, three churches in our benefice and uh, we have four services going on today. So in Peastown St. John at St. John's Church, we have a morning service at half past ten. And then we have another service, uh, a a more family oriented service called Soul Food, which is at 4.30 this afternoon. Um, And then um, I myself will be joining our vicar, Matthew, um, excuse me, Matthew Street um, at uh, the two churches in Wellow and Shoscombe this morning. So the first service in Wellow is at 10 o'clock, followed by the service at St. Julian's in Shoscombe at quarter past 11. Lovely. Thank you ever so much. And I hope they all go very well. What's the bit that's on a, on a Mothering Sunday service? What is the bit that you really look forward to? 
I think it's a simple thank you. Thank you to all of the mothers, all of the women in our lives um, who encourage us, support us, as I say, you know, nurture and protect us. Um, that that self-sacrifice. Um, I, as I say, I'm not a mother myself, but I do have a mother who raised three children while working full time as a nurse. Um, so I'm well aware of how hard it is to be a mother in a family and, and to raise that family and to encourage your children to be the best people that they can possibly be. So for me, a thank you from the heart. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, just how nice church services and ceremonies and, and faith in itself, all about giving thanks. And it's who we give thanks to, isn't it? So it's lovely to be able to have a day that specifically diverts thanks in that direction. Yes. And it reminds us, if I can just share a few words from the Bible with you, um, it reminds us of how God loves us. Um, Isaiah wrote, for this is what the Lord says. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you. Reverend Catherine Ahern, thank you ever so much. It's been lovely catching up with you this morning. Uh, Reverend Catherine Ahern from Peasdown St. John, uh, Shoshcombe and Wellow Parish Churches holding uh, these special Mothering Sunday services this morning. <laughs>